Good morning, class. May I request everyone to please stand up for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, as we begin this new school year, we gather as a community of beliefs, a family of your children. We thank you for the renewal and safety of the past month as well. As a preparation for this new academic year, we thank you for the promise of the day ahead and for the blessing of your accomplishment. And be with us this year, Lord. Open our hearts to become people with and for others. Help us to study this and growth to religious, loving, and committed to doing justice. Keep us safe in body and spirit. Let us be gentle with ourselves, with striving to serve as a greater glory. And may we always be a source of support, encouragement, happiness, and love. We always be a serve of your spirit. We ask these things in the most sacred heart of your Son. Amen. Before you take your seats, kindly pick up a trash as you can see inside the classrooms and put it on the trash bins. Okay, you may now take your seats, class. Before anything else, let me check your attendance first. If your name is Cook, say present. Jericho Intanes. Jamaica Ubas, Jessa Ubas, Tyrone Gargar, Shina Faye Kauba, John Vincent Paera, Patrick Balasabas, Marie Bagador, Ella Mabilog, Faith Namoko, Lyra Makasilhig, Christine Reyes, Joey Pacres, Alvin Lahot, Raymond Mercado, Miko Elnasin, Romel Kilingin, Jane Escorial, Grace Ann Kinamot, Mika Lahot, Marie Therese Barredo, Isa Boino. Very good. We have a perfect attendance today. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, so again, welcome to, go to our computer class. For now, let us have an activity first. It's called Arrange Me. Okay, so this is the scrambled words. I want you to arrange it correctly. Please share to the class and I will give you 10 minutes to answer it. Time starts now. Okay, are you ready? If yes, number one. Yes, James. Yes, very good. It's a box. Number two. Yes, Joy. Monitor. Very 
very good. Number three. Yes, Shana Faye. Sabnet. Number four. Yes, Karen. Monitor. Very good. Perfect. Number five. The last one. It's a computer. Very good. Let's give a round of applause, everyone. So now, um, let us review first before we proceed to our new discussion. Okay, so before we proceed to our new discussion, let us review first, okay? So class, what was our topic last meeting? Okay, and who wants to share what are the types of computers all about? Yes, it's a Clarifications of computer by size. We have the software computers, mainframe computers, mini computer, personal computers or PC, or microcomputers. In supercomputers, it is this is a powerful computer that can process to large amounts of data and do a great amount of computations very quickly. In supercomputers used for areas related to science, engineering, education, defense, and aerospace. Supercomputers are also useful of applications involving a very large databases or that require a great amount of computation. Used for complex tasks such as weather forecasting or climate research, scientific simulation, oil and gas exploration, quantum me mechanics, and script analysis. We have the mainframe computers. In mainframe, it is a high-performance computer used for large information processing jobs. Example, it's institutions, research, academics, healthcare, libraries, large businesses, financial institution, stock brokerage firms, insurance agencies. So those are the useful of a mainframe computer. So we have also a census taking, industry and consumer statistics, enterprise research planning, transaction processing, a business and e-commerce. We also have a mini computer. In mini, when we say mini, it is a mid-range computer that is intermediate in size. A power speed, storage, capacity, etc. between a mainframe and a microcomputer. Mini computers are used by small organization. When we say mini computer, it is a term that is no longer used much in recent years. Many computers are often referred to as small or mid-sized servers. As a server, server is a central computer that provides information to other computers. We also have a personal computer or we, we called it a PC in short. This is a small computer designed for use by a single user at a time. And when we say microcomputer is now a primarily used to mean a PC, but it can refer to any kind of small computer, such as a desktop computer, laptop, computer, ta tablet, smartphones, or wearable. We have desktop computer. This is a personal computer that is designed to stay at one location and fits or under a desk. It typically has a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and a tower system unit. We also have laptop computer or a notebook. A portable personal computer that is a small enough to rest on the user's lap and can be powered by a battery. It includes a flip down screen and a keyboard with a touch pad. We have tablet, a wireless touch screen. This is a PC that is slightly smaller and weighs less than the average of laptop. 
We have smartphone. Uh, this is a mobile phone that performs many of the functions of a personal computer. Right? So, those are the types of computer. So, let's yes, join. Very well said. So, let's give joy a round of applause. So, my question. Who have here a computer, desktop, or laptop? Yes, Karen. Okay, so what will you do if your PC or computers are damaged? Yes, very good. So you disassemble and assemble, right? Very good. So let's proceed. So before that, let us read the objectives. First, okay, so we'll be tackling today about computer hardware. So it is the physical, let me say, Hardware, it is the physical components that our computer systems requires to function and it encompasses everything with a circuit board that operates within a PC or a laptop. So now, including again the motherboard, the graphics card, the central processing unit, the ventilations or the fans, the webcams, the power supply and so on and many more. So now, let us, review, let us read first our learning objectives. First is learn the we will be tackling today about computer hardware. So it is the physical, let me say hardware, it is the physical components that our computer systems requires to function. And it encompasses everything with a circuit board that operates within a PC or laptop. So now, including again the motherboard, the graphics card, the central processing unit, the ventilations or the fans, the webcams, the power supply, and so on, and many more. So now, let us, review, let us read first our learning objectives. First, the end of the lesson, students are expected to first Identify what are the examples of computer application software and system software. Second, discuss the uses of each application software. Third, is to explain the importance of application software and each system software. Okay, so when you say hardware, are the physical parts of the computer, which we can see, we can see in our eye and touch using our hands. So that is the physical, like this, our body. So example for this is the central processing unit or the CPU. We have the mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, and many more. Physical devices associated with computer. So we have the CPU. This is a Central processing unit. So all kinds of computing devices such as tablets, the PC or laptops, feature a uh, brain like the unit called the central processing unit or CPU. Your computers or the CPU calculates and integrates or interprets the instructions while you are surfing the web, on the Chrome, the Opera Mini. So we also creating documents, just as playing games also, or run software programs. So the more powerful and updated your processors, I mean, the faster your computer can complete the task by getting a more powerful processor. But you can help your computer think and work faster. So we also have the case. So case is the cabinet. When you see the cabinet, this is the when you say the cabinet, this is the chief chief chassis. So in computer case, um the computers power supply also including here and the motherboard also the memory or the desk drives and other peripheral units. Um see power case in all one. So without this, 
your parts of the computer and internal devices in your computers or in your desktop or in your PC cannot run correctly because the case is your cabinet inside there's an internal devices okay understood so also known as the computer chases so don't forget that usually the display keyboard the mouse like that so we have the mouse when you say the mouse this is the computer considering a hardware okay so it is the handheld is from our hands so we use our hands to to use the uh, computers in our computer laptops or mostly uh, this is the input devices also when you say input this is the external we can see not the internal not the inside it's the from outside okay so that's the when you say mouse that's the control of the cursor it's the black one color block and a GUI and can be more and select text icons files and folders for desktop computer the mouse is placed on a flat surface so it's in tables you can see in the tables and placed in front of the computer we have the graphics card so video card also called integrated circuit that generate um, the video signal sent to the computer display so when you say if the card located on the computer motherboard or it's a separate circuit board like it is a processing belt into the computer display we have also speakers so when, when you say speaker this is the output hardware or devices we also see outside, not the internal, okay? So please take note for that. So this device that connects to computer to generate sound, okay? So the signal used to produce the sound that comes from the computer speaker. And it's created by the computer sound card. We have the... And also, some speakers are designed to work specifically with computer, while others can be hooked up to any type of sound system. Uh, regarding of their design, the purpose of speakers is to produce output that can be fired by the listener. So we have the motherboard. So we know that the motherboard is the backbone. This is the backup, you see back with the backup that ties the computer's components together at one spot and allows them to talk to each other. So without this motherboard in our lap or in our computer, none of the computer pieces such as the central processing unit or the hard drive could not interact. Okay? So one of the most essential parts of the computer is the motherboard. So in addition to that, the motherboard is the circuits. A motherboard contains a number of sockets and slots to connect the other components. So the key to remember that the motherboard contains the central processing unit, the memory, and on all the connectors to the rest of the hardware of the computer system. The board, when you say the, this is the motherboard, the board is the, yes, very good, the mother. So of all components, that's where it gets its name. Okay, so we have RAM. The RAM is random access memory. So it is one of the most important also in computer. So when we say uh, RAM or random access memory, why is it important? Because it's determining your system's performance. So the RAM performs the system of your computer. So RAM gives application a place to store and access data on a short-term basis. So it stores 
the information your computer is actively using so that it can be accessed quickly. So the more programs your system is running, the more you will need. Understood? Thank you so much. Okay, so we have the power supply. We know this is a familiar one. Power supply is the converts power. When you see the power conversions changes, the incoming electricity to a format that the electrical devices can use. A power supply is a critical part of any PC. It powers all the computers in your PC and the bad of the faulty one can bring everything down. So careful with your power supply. We have the monitor. Okay, so I know you're familiar with this. Monitor is known. Okay, common. So we have the monitor. So the purpose of the monitor is a great computer monitor to display like this. You can see on the screen, this is a monitor that has been fed to it by a computer's video card, Light show. So this allows those who are using computers to make a decision based on visual data. Also, we have the keyboard. This one is the primary function. This is the external devices by the outside. So this is an app and apron devices using a keyboard. A person can type, for example, I'm going to type using my computer. So I'm, I use the keyboard. I use keyboard to type my text, the information, and then I'm like that. Okay, so we have a hard disk drive. So it is an electromechanical data storage device that stores and retrieves digital data using magnetic storage. And one or more rigid rapidly, or more rigid rapidly, rotating fluttering is coated with magnetic material. Take note for that. We have also optical devices. That's why I mean in computer systems allow your CD where you have DVDs and Blu-ray desk to listen to music or watch a movie. Like you want to see and uh, using your video K. So that's the very example, one of the most example in the optical desk drive. So most drives also allows you to write data to desk so you can create your own music or video. We have also sound cards. We know that sound cards is converts incoming digital audio data into analog. So audio so that speakers can play it. A sound card is also known as the audio adapter. We have a computer data storage so uh, technology consisting of computer components and recording media that are used to retain digital data. It is a core function and fundamental components of a computer. So it is also the central processing unit or the CPU again of a computer is what manipulates data by performing computations. So last we have the Printer. So, printer is to turn digital data into printed media. This could be text or it could be the graphic output. It's the transfer animation to paper, usually to standards. I mean, you can see in the standards when you print uh, using the pen paper, sharpening paper, 8.5. Okay, so those are our uh, computer hardware. So remember, we have, uh, remember that hardware has all of the components that make your particular device work. And without those I've mentioned, the software would not be accessible. The better the hardware, the more appealing the experience. On the other hand, we have software 
it might remain not tangible, but it's what you interact with most. So love your internal devices. Okay, so everyone, class, do you have any questions? Clarifications? Okay, if none, okay, so let's continue. So we have here a computer data storage. It is a technology consisting of computer components and recording media that are used to retain digital data. We have a computer case. Serves critical functions much as skin does for the human body. We have the graphics card. It is an expansion card which generates a feed of output image to display device such as a um, computer monitor. Last, we have the keyboard. It's for putting information, including letters, words, and numbers, into your computer. Okay, so that's the end of our discussion. Any questions? Clarifications? If not, let's have an activity entitled, Describe Me. Okay, everyone, we have an activity today. It's about be my guest. Okay, what do you think this picture? James? Okay, very good. It's keyboard. This one. Ara. Okay, monitor. Very good. This one. Ella. Okay, sound card. Correct. This one, this one, Marie, it's a computer case, very good. Clap your hands, everyone. This one, it's a mouse, very good. Last, Shala, it's a computer data storage. Okay, very well, everyone, you are very good and... Okay, class, so please get a partner and answer your subject questions and in a one per sheet of papers and I will give you five minutes in answering, all right? So after you are done answering the short activity, please get one full sheet of papers for the examinations. I will give you 15 minutes to answer it. Okay?
Okay, class, so pass your papers in front and the class secretary will collect it by color. Any questions? Clarification? If it's none, okay, before I dismiss you, I will give you an assignment study in advance about application software and system software. It is page on page number 30. Okay, so thank you so much class for this morning. I hope class everyone will learn from it and all right class so remember that hardware computer hardware please love your computer don't care the motherboard also the most important thing the most essential so care for it okay so all right so please class stand up for the closing prayer yes shall i will lead the prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye class and see you around. Bye-bye.